With temperatures rising, people from all over New England are flocking to outdoor dining destinations. And some restaurants are elevating the experience for every member of the family, especially the four-legged ones. They just sit under the table and behave and and it's been great. In 2023, the city of Boston changed its guidelines for restaurants. As the city makes a push to become more dog friendly, restaurants and beer gardens with outdoor areas are allowed to apply to become dog friendly spaces. We have six tables inside and a lot more outside. So uh, when the sun is out like today, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful view, great food and awesome drinks. Now more than ever, restaurants like 75 on Liberty Wharf are catering to this growing segment of canine customers. We encourage furry friends. This is a great neighborhood to be walking your dog, sipping a cocktail or coming for dinner. So why live half of the family at home? This seaport patio boasts endless waterfront views and good eats. Think casual bistro fare like lobster rolls, fish tacos, and fried calamari with a mix of colorful cocktails for the humans. Laz, here's your clam chowder. And everything from clam chowder to chicken littles for the pups. I love having places that we can go that are dog friendly. I know that Boston is really making an effort to do that, so it's great to know that this place is right down the street from us. Dogs of all sizes can sniff out a variety of snacks on 75 on Liberty Wharf's patio pup menu. We want to take care of all of our customers, so we partnered with Polka Dog and we have a beautiful menu put together so they can enjoy uh, like the humans can. The collaboration between 75 on Liberty Wharf and Polka Dog was a natural one. Why? Well, their neighbors. They wanted to create a unique, healthy dog menu. So they came to us and we now provide their entire menu of sustainable, crunchy, soft and chewy, a little bit of everything. Polka Dog Bakery started in 2002 and has grown to eight locations in the greater Boston area. Chronicle visited the Polka Dog Kitchen on the Fish Pier in 2022. Cod skins are one of our most popular treats. We bring in about 10,000 pounds of raw cod skins a week. Give you an idea. 10,000 pounds, a lot of cod skins. Every treat made with limited ingredients, keeping dogs happy okay. and healthy. <laughs> but it's not just Boston that's serving up doggy delights. Oh, yeah. Every other week, we have dog-friendly area, which is right behind us, which is all the ones with the umbrellas. And we keep uh, basically all these open year-round. So if you have a dog and you want to brave the cold in the winter, by all means. Justin Matera, along with his brother, own Longboard's restaurant and bar in Salem. My brother and I bought a convenience store 15 or so years ago, which is right behind us. Uh, flipped that to a restaurant. And then we've been fortunate. We had a really good crowd. And we decided to bite the bullet and move next door when this vacant um, building was there. So I went from about 1,200 square feet to just shy of 9,000. The waterfront restaurant with harbor and sunset views has that same hometown divey feel, but now on a bigger scale. We're such a nice little local place now uh, where it's, it's a great place to grab a beer and a burger and bring your dog and it's fun. Matira, a dog lover, has added touches of Sky and Aaron, two of his dogs who have crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Aaron, who I lost about a month ago, he, um, he was a really good boy. He basically grew up here on the wharf with me. So we have Aaron's area, which is out front, and it's not morbid at all, it's just very dog friendly, and it's awesome. The dog friendly vibes were barking, I mean, bumping. Look, Nana. It's a menu that's shaped as a dog bone. It comes on a Frisbee, which is a take-home Frisbee. We have dog bandanas. Uh, we get a little bit of everything over here. From a charcuterie board with bacon and cheese to grilled chicken over lettuce and even dog-friendly ice cream with a milk bone cherry on top. This is just wicked nice being out by the water and having them have like a menu for the dogs and everything. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. She wants to get down because the food is so good here. <laughs> yes. That's why. 
What do you think about the dog menu? It's so cute. It's very nice to have that for the dogs and everything. Not to worry, humans can woof down some delightful bites too. Lobster rolls, burgers, two of the biggest sellers, flatbread pizzas. While you savor your juicy burger, your pooch will be pampered and that tail will keep wagging. It's always uh, good to accommodate her needs and mine at the same time, you know, get around town. <laughs> OMG, there's mm -hmm. something for everyone, mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. All right, and dogs on patios in the city of Boston is a fairly new thing, and mm -hmm. there are rules. Few rules, obviously. Uh, employees cannot touch the dogs. No food prep, obviously, in the dog-friendly areas. Dogs must stay on a leash as well. A couple of other rules, but hey, these are a small price to pay mm. for having your pooch by a your side. Pooch by your side.